This is going to be a video tutorial on how to set up an MLA template in Microsoft Word. It's pretty easy to do. I'm going to open up Word. I'm using Word 365 is what I'm using. So if you're using a different type of Word, it may be slightly different. But what we're going to do is look for an MLA template, which Microsoft Word has them already. Uh, the way you'll find it, I have it right here, but that's because I've used it before. But uh, it's probably not on yours, though. What you'll do is you'll click More Templates. And then you'll search in this box here for MLA, MLA, Enter. And the one I'll be using is the MLA Style Paper. I'll double click on this. Now the first thing you'll do, it's already set up in MLA format, and if you read this, it gives you all kinds of instructions on how to do things. It tells you how to set up a table if you need a table. Uh, it tells you how to add pictures. It tells you an awful lot of stuff. It has a Works Cited page already ready to go. Only thing I've seen on that is that, uh, the Works Cited needs to be centered in the MLA format. Unless I'm mistaken, it needs to be centered. But anyways, I'm going to type... I'm going to click on where it says your name, and I'm going to type my first and last name. Then I'm going to click where it says instructor's name. you got to click on it to where the, uh, this gray rectangle appears. Then I'm going to click on the course. I'm just going to make something up. Then I'm going to click on the date, and you want to start off with the uh, date. Today is the 9th. Then you will type the full uh, name of the month, and then you will type the year. And then for the uh, last name up here at the top, you want to have your last name and then a number. The way you do this double click in the header area up here double click and that puts you in the, uh, the header and then you want to click on last name to where you get that gray rectangle type your last name now sometimes this updates it for all of them and sometimes it doesn't I'm gonna click out of it I'm gonna double click on the body or you could click a close header and fold folder see if it updates and it didn't but that's okay I'll double click in the, uh, if you have more than one page, I'll double click in the uh, header area up here. Click on the last name. Type my last name. Then I will do it here. Well, it did update it now. It updated all of them now. Not sure why it didn't update that one at first, but anyways, I'm going to double click on the body to come out of the header. Now I'm going to add my title. I'm going to click on title and and if you have a subtitle you could uh, add a subtitle but I'm just going to hit the delete key to remove that and I'm going to remove that little colon there and now the only other thing I see it needs is this uh, work cited move to the center I'm gonna center align that and if there's anything like this stuff here it's already set up and ready to go all you would do is paste your content over it and anything like this that you don't need you would just simply I'm gonna hit the back arrow backspace to remove it I'm gonna remove this too you just simply remove what you don't need but like I said, there's a lot of good information in here if you want to read it. I'm going to hit backspace again. So there's my uh, content. And there's my Works Cited page. For your Works Cited page, this tells you exactly how to set up your uh, your Works Cited page. If you, if you have the information, you could just paste it right over it.
because it's it's already got the hanging indent. But that's how you set up a MLA template in uh, Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching.